What up, though? It's your boy. It's your boy. Two eyes, two D's in the K. 25 and an 8 with two O's. Yes, sir. It's your boy, Who Kid. It is. And it's like, damn, Who Kid. Wow. He's like really calm and collected. Actually, I'm not. I'm very upset. I'm mad as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And um, I do believe everybody heard the Big Hawk, which was Jason. And everybody heard J-Kid. Now y'all about to hear what I got to say about this situation. And I'm going to start it off like this. You have no respect for none of your people up there. None. Don't nobody respect you up there, bro. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody respects you. But you think you're getting all the respect, but you're really not. You know what I mean? You downplay everything. You don't answer questions. You know? You, you thrive off the littlest shit. The smallest shit. And you make it into a big ass deal as if it was something real catastrophic. Um, your way of running things, the way you portray your role at that company is beyond, way beyond a fucking F. Nigga, you probably got like a damn near a F plus times 10. You know what I'm saying? Times 12. Like, dude, you are really fucked up, man. You are a really fucked up individual. You know what I mean? You think you're sweet. You think you're hard. You know what I'm saying? You got that, I guess, that other side of the map mentality. Well, guess what, brother? You on the west side of the map of this mentality, my nigga. And at the end of the day, guess what? Hmm. You're not on our level. You're not. You're really not on our level. You behind. You know what I'm saying? You have no consideration. You don't even communicate with nobody. But the only time your punk ass communicates with somebody is when you're trying to throw them under the bus. Yeah. When you're trying to throw them under the bus, that's when you communicate with a nigga. That's when you communicate with a nigga. Okay? Straight up. It's facts. Because you know what? Not only did who, Jay, and Jason seen that shit, but guess what? The whole squad seen it too, bro. You know what I mean? I'm the whole squad seen it too, my nigga. And at the end of the day, <laughs> if that made you feel good by doing that, you know what I'm saying? Keeping Jason name in your mouth? Because why? Because you felt the need to? Well, guess what, bro? <laughs> That's the wrong thing to do. You don't bother Jason or J Kid. That's when I get involved. Who can? Because at the end of the day, guess what? You don't know what the fuck who is going to do. That's the cool thing about it. Because Jason and JK don't even know what I'm going to fucking do. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing stupid like go to jail or nothing like that. Come on, man. I got common reality sense to this shit. I'm not about to go to jail over your stupidity. Really? Right. Okay. Stupid ass. I'm not. Got me fucked up, my nigga. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, Words can't even express how fucked up a person you really are. You got other issues going on, but you want to keep Jason's name in your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Check this out, man. Jason and J-Kid is not the one to put niggas on blast like that. But nigga, me? Who, kid? Yeah, because you never know what the fuck he going to say or what the fuck he's going to do. Nigga, I can give two fucks about your marriage, nigga. I hope that bitch divorced your punk ass. Because you a sorry motherfucker. And I'm going to say it again, nigga. And I'm going to take my motherfucking shades off when I say this shit to your bitch ass, nigga. I hope your fucking wife leave your ass. I hope your wife divorce your ass. And I hope your wife break your motherfucking pockets, nigga. Because you a sorry ass, bitch ass motherfucker. Straight the fuck up, nigga. You weak. You sorry. You trash. You know what I mean? I'm not hating on you, bruh. I'm just telling you what's real is real. And believe me, I'm not the only one who think that. Jason is not the only one who think that neither. And J-Kid is not the one who think that neither. Hmm. So who else thinking that same shit? I'll let you be the judge of that, nigga. <laughs> Straight up. You run your mouth too much. You put words in people's mouths for no reason. You know what I'm saying? You, uh, you downplay every single thing that a motherfucker's trying to tell you. You talking about you gonna fix this, you gonna fix that? What the fuck you fix? Not a goddamn thing, my nigga. And guess what? You're gonna pay for it too. Because you know why? When you hate on somebody like that, like the way you do, and a person's not even in your presence? <laughs> Guess what, bro? <laughs> when 
when that bitch karma hits your ass, and when it hits you, you ain't gonna know what direction it came from. And the cold thing about it, you can see that motherfucker coming too. But then again, when you don't see that shit, if you don't see it, guess what? Karma gonna hit your ass so fucking hard, bro. That shit might send your ass back to where you came from. Straight the fuck up, bro, because you pathetic. You weak as fuck. You have no morale for yourself. You have no morale for your squad. You know what I'm saying? You have no respect for your squad. I have this lean up here the whole damn time. That's how you know that I'm mad. That's right. I said it. I'm mad about this shit. Because Jason ain't speaking up on you, man. He ain't said nothing to nothing. He ain't said nothing about you. But you got his name in your mouth. Cause you hate on you hating on him. Oh, I wanna know what the whoopty wham and what the whoopty whoop. Well guess what, bro? You wanna find out so motherfucking bad, man? Check it out. Go to fucking YouTube, nigga. And figure it out your motherfucking self, nigga. Straight up. Because at the end of the day, man, you think everybody respects you? You think pretty people respect you, man? Don't nobody respect you. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody have no respect for you. You are called what? A person that's tolerable. So many motherfuckers want you out of there, man. Not only your squad, but the inside house too. Like I said, I'm not Jake Kid. I'm not Jason, my nigga. I'm gonna tell you to straight the fucking real. Don't nobody like your bitch ass up there. Straight up. Don't nobody like you. You think everybody like you. Coming in with the fancy stuff. You know what I mean? Fancy attire. You know what I'm saying? Fancy this, fancy that. You know what I mean? But see, one thing about me, I know how to put things in perspective to the point where you know who the fuck I'm talking about without even saying your fucking name. That's the cool thing about Luke here. You feel what I'm saying? So when you do decide to see this video, yeah, this is part three. And again, bro, you weak as fuck. You shady. You a cold individual. And, uh, yeah, man, you a cold individual. You need to have some morale to yourself, man. You need to start respecting yourself. Because if you can't respect yourself, how the fuck you gonna respect somebody else? You know what I mean? How the fuck you gonna respect somebody else? 